No, no. Does the district attorney know? The next step is that we'll have another uh, hearing in Division 10. At the next court date, there'll be the formal charges, formal statement of charges against you. Does the district attorney know when that you'll be ready to file the charges? Talking with your staff earlier, I think we talked about next Wednesday at, at one, 1 or one thirty, whatever the court is. Okay. Does the public defenders have any objection to the filing of the charges next Wednesday at one thirty in Division 10? That would be a week. We have one moment, Your Honor. A week from Wednesday. A week from Wednesday. Yeah, not this coming Wednesday, but a week from Wednesday. That's fine. So that would be the 9th, is that right? I think that's right. December 9th at 1.30? All right, December 9th at 1.30 is going to be our next court date, and that will be in Division 10. Now, I have also received a number of other motions. Uh, did the Public Defender's Office wish to make any statement in regard to those motions? Judge, the only one that I wish to address uh, are, are the motions for preservation of physical evidence. I would ask the court to grant that motion um, uh, just so that we can make, ensure that any physical evidence in the case has been preserved. Um, I, I, I am willing to defer ruling on some of the others until the next court date. I would ask the court to um, grant uh, the motion for access and preservation of the crime scene I have not had a chance to discuss with law enforcement uh, what, what their intentions are vis-a-vis -vis the crime scene or when they would be done, but we would want to be able to visit the crime scene and conduct our investigation as soon as possible upon their uh, completion there. Okay. Let's take one at a time. Let's talk about first, and it's entitled D3, the Motion for Preservation of Physical Evidence. Have you seen that? I have not, John. That has not been provided to us. crime scene, I can say it's something I've discussed with the police department uh, already, and uh, they're anticipating, they are still working the crime scene at the point that they feel that they have completed that, we anticipated the defense may be requesting access to it, and so that's something they can do. Uh, we are uh, reaching out, though, to uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, because it is their facility, and they may have some privacy issues uh, around HIPAA and other things. So they may or may not want to be present during that also, or at least secure things that they may have some privilege concerns about, uh, which should not affect you know, a lot of what I, I would assume the, uh, they're interested in the crime scene. So that's, uh, arrangements are being made. So but those are the two issues that I see. So it sounds like you can make arrangements with the uh, council to, they can go out with the crime scene once the police are finished? That's correct. Uh, the court uh, is going to grant the motion for access to preservation of the crime scene. That's D5, and I will leave it up to counsel to make those arrangements with both of the district attorney, and you can coordinate uh, those issues. Will do. Okay. The only motion we've been provided to date, Your Honor, is the uh, the invocation. Actually, it's not a motion; it's just a notice of invocation of rights. Right. Uh, but we so we have not seen the actual written. That's me, I, uh, Jeff Lindsay. We do object to um, the paragraph that says defendant with access on an ongoing basis to any and all items of evidence. Um, we Which obviously would give them access, but we don't. Paragraph is that? I'm sorry, it's the first paragraph. Jeff. Okay. We would give them access, but it would have to be through probably an investigator in our office or an investigator with the um, law enforcement agency. Okay. And then we do object to uh, paragraph. F, which includes email and text message correspondence um, by law enforcement and prosecution concerning the investigation of the case. Um, we uh, typically object to that judge and we believe that is uh, mostly work product. If there's information within any text or email that is uh, Rule 16 material, we will provide that. Um, but I don't think there's any other requirement that we would have to provide just all emails and all texts. Okay. If I may approach? Yes. Thank you, sir. Any further comment from uh, counsel from the Public Defender's Office? No, Your Honor. All right. The court is going to grant, in part, the motion for preservation of physical evidence. 
Uh, I am the grant paragraph A, paragraph B, paragraph C, paragraph D, paragraph E. Uh, the court finds that paragraph F can contain work product information. However, if there's Rule 16 information, the court obviously orders that that be provided. And I will grant also paragraph G. So one, so it's A, B, C, D, E, part of F, and um, all of G. Anything else from counsel? No, Your Honor. Um, I'm assuming that if the court is going to entertain any further um, motion for expanded media coverage, that we would be able to discuss that uh, before the media coverage started at the next hearing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anything from the district attorney? Nothing further at this time, Your Honor. All right. Thank you.